Just got this from uh, IDW. They just sent me this package here, so I have not opened this up yet. So I I think I know what this is. But here we go. If you guys ready? Let's take a look here. What's in here? Not clue. This is if I think what it is. It is one, two, three. It is my lost light cover. Whoa, there it is. That's my cover. IDW gave me these guys here. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna be busy for an hour. I'll see you guys later. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm James the Box Office Artist, and welcome back to um, to another uh, professional work that I'm doing here. Uh, so again, I am doing a cover for IDW Publishing, and uh, this is a cover for, I believe it's The Lost Light, Transformers Lost Light. I want to take you guys through the layout process of what I'm thinking of, and, uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to start out really small here. And from what you see here, you can see this is just a regular... Uh, 11, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, but this, if you fold it in half, this is pretty much the dimensions of a comic book cover, standard comic book cover. So this is great just to get some ideas down and, uh, you know, figure out what you want to do with the actual uh, artwork itself. Now this isn't fully correct, but it doesn't really matter too much. And I'm just using a regular big pen. <laughs> Don't want to waste any of the good materials on the layout phase. What I want to do is just a very simple pose, a very simple pose to do and I, I, I was thinking more stay more along the lines of a, a of a side shot something along the lines of a side shot and then just he's just holding his gun but when doing something like this you have to consider you, you construct it the same way you would construct a regular human being because even though they're robots they should feel like human beings so I'm actually going to be drawing this twice the size that I usually would uh, do a particular drawing. You know, I, I want a very, very slight upshot here. Very, very slight. Very, very slight. But I do want that feeling he's holding the gun. So the gun doesn't always... Have to be completely in frame, but I do want both hands in. So, showing it there, showing the gun here. Now I'm not gonna get too crazy in detail, but I do need to kind of know where everything is. And then once the, once this is done, I'm gonna bring this into Photoshop just to make sure the dimensions are, are right. Something like that, you know, just something very powerful fits the whole page, and that's one thing with with comics. You don't have to go very, um, like I could put out like a thousand characters in here. Sometimes that's great, but what I want to do is just doing something very iconic, something powerful, something that will stop people in their tracks. I'm like, oh, what's this? And then pick up the book. Now, looking at this now, I might be inclined to actually push him down a little bit, and then again, that's why, um, the, you know, I put it in Photoshop just so I could kind of see how the title works. But uh, I'm gonna bring this into Photoshop right now and I will actually show you guys uh, whenever I'm trying to fix this up in Photoshop a little bit. So I sketched out on, uh, again, two 11 by 17 pieces of paper as you can tell here. It's actually taped in the middle. If I turn behind here, I actually uh, you can't really see it that well, but I have, uh, I have masking tape that's actually taped together. Okay, so you can hardly see that because of the light. But you can also see that I actually, if I go like this, you could kind of see that I blue lined uh, just a very, very rough outline of what I believe uh, it is. Okay, so uh, like I showed uh, before. Okay, so this is my sketch. I brought that into Photoshop and I put the, the title there uh, up the, the top. And, uh, you know, just to kind of figure out exactly um, how I wanted to, to go, how I wanted the cover to go. Now, originally here, the top part, I had the, the title like right up to the top part, but I wanted a little bit more breathing room with his head. That's why I brought the entire thing down a little bit. So you might actually notice here in the paper, I actually have more space here at the top 
just so that um, you know um, just so uh, they have room to put that Lost Light title. Also, I'm actually drawing it a little bit wider. A little bit wider as well. There's a good inch and a half on both sides. And that's that way they have a little bit more room to crop. Now, this isn't standard for all covers. I'm just This is just a size I'm comfortable with now. And it benefits the entire artwork at the end because the lines will be a lot crisper and tighter. So right now, I'm going to go ahead with the blue line. And I'm actually going to blue line out uh, all the little details here. And then I'm probably going to go straight to ink. But first, I'm going to start roughing out uh, all the blue line. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it. Maybe I will darken down this camera a tiny bit. And, uh, and yeah, and once I'm done the blue line process, I will stop and I will talk about it. So let's do that right now. Okay, so I pretty much uh, what called rough this out. Okay, this is as far as I'm getting. I actually want a little bit more detailed than uh, I wanted to, but I, I am liking his face. I'm trying to find a medium between um, like a, uh, a Transformers-esque face and an actual human face. Um, well, of course, they look, they look very similar, but where does the shaping end and all the mechanics begin? Uh, so I'm always struggling with that, uh, how I want to play with that, but I think I'll just do this regular. So now, if I were actually to crop this, uh, the actual cover would probably be like this. I'll do it like this so you guys can see, because the light you can see. So it'll probably cropped in like this. So that's why everything out here I'm not going to worry too much about, like the extra one in, one or two inches on both sides. I'm not going to worry too much about, but I've got to make sure that everything on the inside here, so pretty much maybe from this symbol on, from here on, that will be, uh, you know, uh, really tight and look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start inking this. Okay, so I'll, this is as far as I'm going to go with the blue line. So I, I usually start with the face. Once the face, if I can get the face looking right, the rest will be forgiving. So I'm going to spend the most of the time I can actually on the face. So let's do that.
Okay, so this is how far I got with the line art so far. So far so good, I'm liking it, I'm liking the face a lot, I, I think it looks pretty cool. Now, um, I'm trying to figure out, you know, as you guys know, I like a lot of black in my artwork, and kind of was what kind of sets me apart from everyone else. So, I, I think this might be a situation where I might go a little bit lighter on the darks. Um, sometimes I would fill in like, like a lot of stuff like this, so just the parts that make sense, like very underneath. I'm not gonna do things like sometimes I would like black this whole thing out right sometimes I would do something like that I don't think I'm gonna be doing that for this one I'm just gonna keep the blacks very simple with the sharpie but right now I'm just gonna trim the camera down a little bit so we see below I'm gonna fill in the gun and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the black so um, this will be a lot simpler than uh, most of my other covers but I'm liking it a lot so far I'm liking the details that I got in there so far and uh, yeah so far so good so well, we'll see how that goes, but I'm gonna speed this up because uh, I really got to get going on this probably uh, Yeah, I'm gonna try to get this done within an hour and a half if that's even possible, but uh, I will do my best So Let's do it Okay, so there it is. That is the pretty much the we'll, we'll call this final. So yeah, so uh, this is how it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the final colors, and you can see that right now. And look how beautiful those final colors are. As you can tell, that is for the Lost Light. Thank you for watching. Please continue to subscribe to all my videos. Check them out, and any suggestions you would have on other videos you would like to see me do, I would love to hear it. So please do let me know. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, at BoxOfficeArtist, Facebook.com slash TheBoxOfficeArtist, Twitch.tv slash BoxOfficeArtist, and my name is James. I'm the Box Office Artist. I'm here to say keep drawing, and I'll see you all next time. Uh, but before I go, before I go, Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>